Good morning! It is February 25th, 2021. And welcome to Jake's Bounty! Hey, I'm in the grass. Good morning. And I pull my pants and sit down there. Here we go. All right, thank you very much for tuning to Jake's Bounty. I'm your host, Jake Hernandez. It is a Thursday, a throwback Thursday. Uh, it is um, February the 25th, 2021. I thought it was in January for a second there, but... Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, thank the sponsors today. We've got uh, The Godfather Part 2 over here at Ray's Video. Two VHS uh, videos right here for $1, seven-day rental, six-time Academy Award-winning movie right here. All right, Ray's Video. Also, go get Scratch Out. Scratch out all your CDs, DVDs, and all your pornos to your dick's delight right here with Scratch Out right there. And finally, also, Jake's Bounty, Flea and Tick Shampoo. Because if your dog has fleas, well, let's face it, you do too. Flea and Tick Shampoo. All right, well, let's go ahead and get to my bounty, why don't we? So it's right here. Nothing special about this guy. I did find uh, a little bit of this and that. You know, here we go. Plastic geyser bottle and monster. Let's see another monster. Smart Energy. Never had this. It's called Freedom Ice Super Brain Performance Fuel. If you've had this, C4 uh, Smart Energy, go ahead and tell me how it tastes. Zero, zero sugar. Can't taste that great, right? <laughs> Purified drinking water, uh, low sugar, uh, rock, rock star. And what's this? It's Unita Brewing Company. Uh, Detour Double IPA. From Utah, so Salt Lake City, Utah, Unita. Uh, tell me if it's any good, you guys. Uh, you had it. If you're from that area, or whatever the case may be. Put these guys back. All right, there we go. Well, this portion of the show is the Throwback Thursday. Wanted to show you a receipt that I had from a Thursday a while ago, and. Just what I had at Taco Bell. And this is just myself because I am fat. All right. I got one cravings pack, which includes four beef crunchy tacos, four beefy uh, five layer burritos, or one craving pack, which is four beef crunchy tacos, four beefy five layer burritos, one crunchy wrap supreme, one nacho fries, seasoned fries, nacho cheese, uh, dip. Three uh, DLT Supremes, uh, two uh, beverages, uh, two regular wild strawberry, and two uh, large Sierra Mist, mild sauce, and fire sauce. Guess how much everything was total? The total was $40.63, and the tax was $3.65. Can't believe how much I spent here for a total of forty-four dollars and twenty-eight cents. I was a fat boy that day. Like I said, that was a Thursday, um, some time ago. So here we go with a little jaunt down uh, memory lane, as well as you know the item that we found today. All right, well let's go ahead and get to the news. A uh, man was arrested for driving the wrong way on the highway. Uh, he was driving down Fresno uh, County Highway 99 outside of Fowler uh, this morning, a Dodge Challenger at 1.30 a.m. He was going 50 miles per hour, 55 miles per hour, and he had a beer bottle in the front uh, passenger seat. No one was hurt, and a similar story happened to me this one time. I remember I was coming home on old 99, and this car was coming right towards me, and I was like, okay, he's going the wrong direction. Does he know that? You know, um, he's going to hit me. Uh, so what I did is I just turned off under the next street. Uh, luckily, uh, there was, you know, that turn off. I don't know what happened to him if he got into a car accident or if he just kept going or what. 
Um, but scary stuff, you know, don't want to go on the wrong way, especially on the freeway. All right, court allows temporary restraining order against Tower Theater, preventing its owners from selling it to Venture Church. Uh, Sequoia Brew Company now has a chance to buy it, okay? So, uh, a little craziness going on there, um, but it looks like uh, the Tower Theater will not be sold to Adventure Church, at least not anytime soon. Barb Hop. Like Art Hop, but with restrictions, uh, there'll still be vendors, music groups, uh, food vendors, and of course, artwork. But done with social distancing, uh, first event will take place uh, March 4th, 2021, and it will feature the hometown rapper Fashan. I think I'm saying that right, as well as food vendors and whatnot. So look out for that. It's called Barb Hop, all right? It'll be uh, downtown Fresno. Fresno police are searching for Fresno. Uh, Fresno police are searching for person of interest in Northeast Fresno homicide case. Happened last June. Anthony Ramiro was uh, found dead, 45. He was found at his North Park apartments off Shaw Avenue, June 28, 2020. They have released surveillance, and anyone knowing any information, please uh, let the Fresno police know about this case. Okay, let's go ahead right now and get to the Oscar winner question segment. Today's show. Let's see if I can find a good one. All right, what film did Steven Spielberg first win an Academy Award for Best Director? Go ahead and take time to think for yourself. This one's probably going to be a hard when you're like, Steven Spielberg, he's done so many movies, you know, but think about this is the first time he won an Academy Award. Academy Award for Best Director. And the answer is Schindler's List. All right. Which, cat, which actress won the Academy Award for Best Actress for a role in Misery? This should be pretty easy. Uh, unless you're a youngin' or you never watch any Stephen King movies. The answer, Kathy Bates. All right, here we go with another one. Which actor declined his Academy Award for Best Actor in 1973? That's an interesting story. And the winner and the answer is Marlon Brando. I'll have to look that up. Which actor declined his Academy Award for Best Actor? Hmm. I wonder why he declined it. Uh, did he think he wasn't worthy of it? Did he, you know, not think the Academy Awards were even, you know, uh, a prestigious accolade or something, you know? that you could actually uh, be proud of. So who knows? But I'll look it up and let you guys know. All right, well, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's show. I'll let you know uh, tomorrow will be Funky Fridays. So we do a little soundtrack from a funk movie, maybe from the 70s, 80s, 90s. Who knows? Uh, we'll also have uh, more of our big movie quiz questions from Oscar winners. Uh, well, I also have a scene from The Godfather, part two, right here. You can get a raised video. It's just uh, $1 VHS, $1 DVD, seven day rental. Get some scratch out while you're at it here, raised video. Uh, CD and DVD repair. Get all your porns looking good once more. And also flea and tick shampoo, because if your dog has fleas, you do too. All right, well, it's going to do it for us today on the show. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank you for tuning in. Also, want to let you know uh, we got more good music coming on the way. Uh, I know it's just been Hydra for lately, but I'm gonna give you some more music, uh, new music tomorrow, as uh, No Effects releases their album called Single Album. So uh, we'll have that and much, much more. See you tomorrow. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other. Jake's Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records Production 2021. You can follow him at his uh, Facebook page. You can also go to his website, go to his channel, leave him a like, leave him a comment, and as always, please subscribe.